Guys, welcome back to the Outer Worlds, and this is gonna be part two where we're doing basically a main quest only playthrough. Now, I might do some stuff on the sides, but it won't be part of this playthrough, so we're just gonna go one video, one mission to keep things nice and organized. If a short mission happens, it's a short video. If a long mission happens, it's a long video. Anyway, pressing the J key, we have mission two here, Stranger in a Strange Land. So. Mission one was finding Hawthorne's ship. Uh, now we have to find a power regulator. The Unreliable's power regulator has been damaged beyond repair and must be replaced. Ada suggested you seek help in the nearby settlement of Edgewater. Talk to whoever runs the town. That's what we're doing. Now, uh, this uh, Lieutenant Mercer here told me that it was to the east. And we're going to head on over to the east here. Also, we're getting a little bit thirsty, which I do have some things which I can do. For example, we have this dehydrated water. Um, I don't know if that gives us hydration. We have 0G brew as well. Do these things solve my hydration issue? Looking at the top left, let's find out. Dehydrated water. Uh, oh, we can inspect it. Okay. How do we use this? F. Dehydrated water works? Okay, we're no longer dehydrated. Now, I don't know if there's anything else around here, but we got a quest to do. That seems like a settlement. This seems like the path we're supposed to follow. We have this sort of shotgun, by the way. So we should be okay. Are those Marauder Vandals? Okay, let's try. Now, I'm still getting used to the combat system. But I think I'm starting to get the hang of things. Okay, there's two of them. There's three of them. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I can run right up to him. Oh, okay. All right, all right. All right, Obsidian, all right. Resident, all right, where's the guy I killed? How do I keep losing these bodies? Is these just residents? Oh, okay. I'm sure I killed him around here. I can't keep track of all the people I kill. I always lose one body for some reason. Oh well, let's move on. Let's move on. All right. That felt that felt spectacular. Uh, I assume we are heading the right direction. We have auroras in the sky. By the way, the optimization of this game is amazing. Usually most new games lag out quite a bit, especially when I'm streaming and recording. This said my computer can handle high graphics, just below ultra for everything, and it runs pretty nicely. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing any lag on your side, but uh, it runs pretty good for me. All right, um, let's, let's walk up to the town. One of these things. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Silas. Hello. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Okay. My pod crashed in the hills back there. How do you know I'm not a marauder? Good question. You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. <laughs> I talk too pretty. Thank you. Um, lie. Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Unreliable. In the last part, we assumed the identity of Alex Hawthorne because he was an idiot and he died. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Mm. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. All right, all right. By the way, we've been specializing in a little bit intelligence and charm through this playthrough. So uh, guns, some mechanical stuff, 
and charming people, because I really like the dialogue and charm mechanics in this game. Uh, who do I talk to about a power regulator? That's what we're looking for. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Hmm. Depends on the work. You offering me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Right. You want me to collect what's owed to you, right? You're making people pay for their own graves? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. <laughs> that's, that's kind of a scary thing to say, Silas. Um, why can't you collect these fees yourself? Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. Hmm. All right, I'll collect your fees for you. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. All right, I'll be back. We're here for the main quest, which he did mention. We're supposed to go to... You've learned that a man named Reed Thompson is in charge of Edgewater. He might be able to help you find the part you need to fix your ship. Okay. Let us find Mr. Reed. I assume we just enter Edgewater. Employment community. Spacer's choice. Transition to Edgewater. Very nice. Very nice. You must rent a grave. Sounds like it. But then how do you pay for it if you're dead? Oh, that's what he's doing. He's digging up people who haven't paid for a while because they're dead. I see. I see. Now, where do you think the boss lives? Probably up there, right? Another day at the cannery. Don't go knocking your work. At least we've got one. All right. Emerald Vale General Store Discovered. Saltuna. So this is... I wonder if the plague's ever gonna pass. Plague? Okay. Keep working. Work fortifies the spirit. All right. So we've got some guards Sorry, here. I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Okay. We've all got quotas to make. I think that's the theme of this. This is a cannery. Okay. How do I find? Now I've turned off the quest markers. Because I want to see if I can play without them. Where do you... Okay. Let's look for important buildings. Maybe we should just ask someone. This seems like... Some kind of church. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? What? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. I must be on my way. Verity to you. So there's a thing of deserters. Resident. Okay, no one's here. There must be someone I can ask. How do I find... Okay, there must be a tavern. General store. Maybe the general store. Julius. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. He's out of deluxe. He's only got gourmet. What is this? The video games industry? <laughs> the deluxe edition has sold out, but you can get the premium edition. Okay. Uh, I have some questions. Go right ahead. Never mind. He doesn't have anything. Uh, Spacer's choice. He did have of choice for spacers on a budget. He did have a short uh, question. I need to fix a ship. You know where I can find parts. You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Okay, my my guess was correct. 
He is in the tower above the cannery. The most important looking building. It was the cannery. That thing. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go. I missed one important person in the church. It's okay. We found out where he is. Saltuna Cannery. Spacer's choice. What is this? I can use the terminal? You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Edgewater Saltuna Cannery. Terminal access. Logs. The Edgewater Saltuna Cannery facility is strictly adheres to Spacer's Choice standards of health and safety. Schedule your sick leave with the Spacer's Choice foreman and or supervisor. Be considerate towards other members of the Spacer's Choice family. Allow two to four weeks to process and approve your scheduled sick leave. That's not how that works. <laughs> Lost hours must be compensated to the company. See Reed if you're having trouble paying for your sick leave. Paying for your sick leave. We'll try to arrange wage deductions instead. Remember, work invigorates the spirit. Sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind and sickness in the character. If you find yourself falling ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with our local vicar. Ah. Okay. Now, I assume I take the elevator. Miss Holcomb, I used to explain this with recipe. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try... Seems we've oh. got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Really? Are you Reed? I was told I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Uh, I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Let's just be honest for now. I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. All right. Uh, my ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Okay, frying myself? Oh yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. All right, when you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Ah. Uh, what a surprise, I never would have guessed. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Oh, deserters. I thought they would be zombies or monsters or something. Okay. Um, if you want me to solve your deserter problem, I charge by the head. Hold on, let me just ask why first. Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. Okay. How can I help? My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. 
Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. All right. How will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. And what if Adelaide doesn't want to come back? That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Hmm. I can't make any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want to guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. All right. I... I could, I could use the company. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. I don't really trust him. I think he's being too nice. He's being too nice. CNP, New Manager Seminar. Companions, you've gained a companion. They are characters that join you in your adventures and help you in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with the Inspiration skill. Learn more about your companions in the Companion Ledger. Some people may require completing another quest before they'll assist you. You can check your quest log for dependencies. Okay, so Reed asks you to deliver a message to a woman named Adelaide McDevitt before you head into the geothermal plant. Pavarti. Okay, so we have a whole tab for Pavarti. The Companion Ledger. TNL makes the best gear for your friends and family. This Companion Ledger shows you everything you need to know about your companions. You can see their skills, stats, status effects, and gear. To change your companion's gear, first select the item you want to swap out, then choose a compatible item to replace it with. You can also change how they behave in combat by selecting their preferred weapon, follow distance, and aggressiveness. Okay, now I'm terrified of you just dying. So distance, close, weapons, mixed, mode, defensive. I guess. Once told to attack a target, the companion continues to fight until combat is over. Only attacks target if the companion has been explicitly told to. I think defensive is fine. Weapon mixed, okay. Skills here, okay. Armor. Armor 7. Armor 4. We can give you a helmet, I guess. You have an impact hammer and a light pistol. All right, very nice. Good. Huh, Pravarti can now join the party. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. All right, come on. Okay, okay. Uh. Steampunk Belladonna, you want me to play more RPGs? I would, if you want to watch it. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know if you want me to continue this playthrough. We better clear out of this. Okay, let's hey, go. Hey, mister, can we talk? Yes. Sorry. Can we talk? Sorry. I... Can we talk? You Sorry. Just want can to we get talk? Out of here. Sorry. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just, Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Okay, this is about the deserters, so what's the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Okay. Hold on, there's a tapping noise. 
Let me just go see what that is. Hold on. Okay, I don't know what that is. I think it might be some fireworks. I think it might be some fireworks. I'm not sure. There are celebrations going on. It sounds like it's coming from within the room, uh, but it's not. It's outside. It's outside. It's just... I'm not sure if you can hear that. Raven at the window? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Mr. Thompson's a person's a gear. It doesn't have quite like squeaks. Starters get replaced. Okay. This town's got issues. How well did you know the disaster? Did you notice Adelaide Reed mentioned? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Right, so her son died, she deserted. I'm sure the deserters are very fine people, so what? Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, mister. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay, I suppose it couldn't hurt. We'll stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Sleep deprivation, it puts me with. <laughs> uh, you're tired and you need to sleep. In supernova difficulty, you must sleep on your ship every day to prevent exhaustion. Without sleep, your exhaustion will get worse over time in four stages, reducing your temperament, intelligence, and strength at each stage before eventually death. All Spaces Choice employees are required to get a minimum of two hours rest every day to maintain focus. Two hours. Uh, what are they? Game streamers? Okay. So, we're getting kind of sleepy. So we hit the first level. Okay. Let us talk to the vicar first. I assume there is a vicar in here. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Okay. Maybe... Ah, there. Vicar Max. Vicar Max. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling? This season's tossball predictions? The quickest way out of town? Hmm. Pavarti wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. <laughs> you wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Oh, I guess I have to answer anyway. Uh, cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. Cut off the power... Okay, fix the geothermal plant. Ah, oh, this question. Cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. That, that's pretty much what, what they said. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Believe the talk. What do you think of Adelaide's group, Vicar? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Oh, intelligence. Depends on how well the leader can provide beyond your walls. Astute. But I am here, not in the deserter camp. So that's not a variable I can account for. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. 
Right, just talk everybody into coming together. I'll keep that in mind, <laughs> right? It's not that easy. If it were as easy as a few soothing words in the right ears, I'm sure it would have been done already. Consider it a challenge. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Another side quest. Okay, we can pick it up if we run into it. A handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Okay, I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. All right. So, um, he's a company man. So that didn't help too much with my decision making. It's a new day. Look at that. Okay. Uh, map. We do actually have a map. Okay. We are looking to go to, that's Edgewater. You can only fast travel to your ship. I assume we're heading that way. Northwest. This is our ship. So we're going to head northwest towards what I assume is a geothermal plant. Northwest. This way. I'm going to need our gun. Okay. So we have to head to the geothermal plant, talk to the deserters, and decide how we're going to go about this. Right? We could... I think we have to screw over someone. But how do we get the power generator without without messing up the deserters? Okay. This is this is looking already a little dangerous. She's still with. Okay. Pavati's behind. Hmm. Socks Games, welcome. Thank you so much. Are those marauders? Those are marauders. Well, I guess we figure out if Pavarti is any good. Does saving work on this? No. Saving spots are slowed down. Wait, I just realized in that corner, what is Z, X, and C? Heading out. Oh. C is ability, X is target someone. Sure. So once I tell Pavarti to go somewhere, does she then continue following if I walk away? Or yep, I hold right over. Oh okay, okay, that's that's pretty uh that's pretty intuitive. Does she auto engage? I'm not sure. Anyway, I should be able to take on these guys. Hello. <laughs> Go to pistol, please. Hit. Come on. So if I tell Pavarti to go attack. Okay. Oh, I forgot to reload. Come on. <laughs> okay. Coming back. Very good. Very good. So once we okay. But once you look over the body, it doesn't highlight anymore. Okay. So we did pick up some stuff here. Okay. So this is armor four, that's armor four, skill bonus, determination plus five, one handed melee. Plus five. Okay, we don't need that. Stealth skills, we don't need that. Okay. 
We are doing fine. Alright, we're still heading northwest. You know, I thought I did turn off the... The quest compass? I'm sure it was here, right? Quest updates, waypoint markers. So, what is this? If I turn on waypoint markers... I don't know what the difference is. It's still showing. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, I see. Okay. I guess we don't need that. That's what waypoint markers. It's on the screen. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. It's still on the quest compass. Marauder ringleader. Uh oh. Jeez, my health. F. What is that damage? That is so many people. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Okay, they do reset. Jeez. Just press X. Does pressing X on nothing just mean she attacks? Okay, I didn't want her to die. Let us avoid that house. Let's go off the beaten path. This is obviously a marauder town. I can't believe I didn't die. Let's just, let's go around. Oh, Marauder Vandal, Marauder Goon. So, like, these guys we can take on. If I sneak, does she join me? Okay, she does. What is that noise? So there's three of them and a dog of some kind? Okay. Let's do this. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, okay, this is gonna take some getting used to. Adreno, yeah, we should keep healing. I think we've lost our... Um, can it tail? Sure. We lost our... Uh, passive regen because we're sleepy part of the difficulty which is fine we're avoiding that house no problem poverty still doing okay we've got eight healing things okay good so we want to be on the road but not too far Orthrus, canid howler is that where we're going no that is not where we're going Gotta be careful of these housed areas, because people live here. What happened here? Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Magpicks are used to break open locks, and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break security, you'll see how many mag points or shunts you need, how long it takes. Raising your skill, okay. Lowers the numbers. So, I can't do this. Because my skill is garbage. There's just a lot of dead marauders here. Do I want to check it out? Someone lives here and has killed a bunch of marauders. Bread noodles, sure. So tuna fillets. What was that noise? <laughs> okay. Okay, it's 
Cigarette lighter, okay. Dervish mist. Thinking caplet. Ambidextrine. Th these are drugs, right? Corporation service award. I'm taking that. Mock apple juice. Energy cells. Mag pick. Okay. I don't know who killed these people, but we're just gonna move on for now. Okay. Yeah, I set it to defensive. Nope, wrong key. Um, poverty. Behavior. I guess I should set it to aggressive. Always engages and attacks when the player enters combat. And we just be a bit more careful. Okay. So up this hill. Up this hill. Botanical lab. So this is where. Okay, let's move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Grace Romero. I don't know you. Correct. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. What's your problem? I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Yes, I'm looking for Adelaide. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Okay. Reed said something about formal workers living out in the wilderness, or I'm looking for a geothermal plant to know anything about it. <sighs> She'll die permanently if you leave her on aggressive. That's true. Should I mention Reed? Or should I just mention the plant? They hate Reed, so let's not mention Reed. A geo what? Look, plants eat my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Good. Fair enough. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse. Tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Okay. I'll get out of your hair. Much obliged. So, in the hothouse. Also, yes. What's the hotkey to get to Pavati? Uh, let us just keep her on defensive. Now, hothouse. Hothouse. This looks like a greenhouse. This looks like Kew Gardens. Adelaide McDevitt. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. Hello. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're barren illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. <laughs> Details I don't need to know. Okay. Looks like you've made a... Let's not get to read so quickly. Looks like you've made a home for yourself here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. Okay. You picked a terrible place. Okay, let's not say that. Why did you d leave your old home? It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Alright, we know she lost her son in some way. 
Is this your greenhouse? No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. I'm, su I'm surprised you've managed to grow anything out here. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago, but I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. That's probably the most important part. Okay, now we have to mention Reed. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? <laughs> Reed asked you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Something about coming back to town or losing power. I wasn't really listening. Okay. You're living off power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery. That's about it. Reed asked you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. I don't know if he's willing to make amends, but I think I should say that first. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Alright, Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned the geothermal plant. I'm gonna be open about this, because I don't really like Reed either. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp has a power regulator. I needed to repair my ship. That's pretty much it. Do you have another one? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. You gotta be careful when people say things like that. You know, you should do this thing. It would make you a hero. Hmm. A hero to you, maybe? That's true. A hero to you, maybe. That, that's, that's... A hero to the people who matter. To us. To the ones who come around. To the ones you save. Reed will never understand. He has been too long inebriated on the wine of corporate culture. <laughs> all he sees is profit. We all know that person. Output, <laughs> Think of the person who that description fits. Okay, good. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? That's a good question. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. Hmm. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. What have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and... He raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Hmm. You made your point clear enough. I'll see what I can do. I'm leaving. I'm just gonna say I'm leaving. Uh, can I can I take that level up sound effect and use it for something? <laughs> That's such a nice sound effect. We leveled up. Okay, let me just uh, quickly put this in. Now I want to get. Oh, we've got thirst. We've got fatigue. Jeez. Um, now inspiration. 
You can order companions to do special attacks. I'm going to put two into leadership here. So I get that up to 20. Um, we can put three into here to get handguns up to 20. Hmm. And then... That's pretty much all we can top up, right? Up to 20s or 40s. Huh. What do I put the rest of my points in? We could put 5 points into guns and get long guns critical damage plus 50%. Now, I don't know exactly what a long gun is. But I'm gonna do that. Like, this shotgun does not count as a long gun, right? Apply. Accept. Companion abilities. C. Companion ability 1. V. Companion ability 2. Auntie Cleo knows. Friends make everything better. Good. So, I don't know what her compa our companion ability is. Um, can I see it here? Ability Overload. Pavati slams down her hammer, creating a blast wave that shocks enemies and stuns auto-mechanicals. Okay, it's a stun. So... Looking at our quest right now, comes now the power. Adelaide proposed that you divert geothermal plants output from the, to the botanical lab, depriving Edgewater of power. Adelaide refused to return to Edgewater, head to the geothermal plant and redirect the power, or we can go to... So we have to go to the geothermal plant. and divert the power to here. No problem. Well, might be some problem. How do we get out of here? I have to head out the front door, okay. Look at this tree. That's a nice tree. Are those mock apples? Those are mock apples. So I assume I have to make the choice once I get there. So it should be just around this mountain. Okay. Hunger. Okay. So I'm currently hungry and thirsty. We do have stuff. So let me eat this mock apple. And let me drink... Dehydrated water. Okay, so we're just sleepy. We're just sleepy. Now, I'm not sure if I want to drop the difficulty at all. That is there. Because dropping the difficulty would remove the survival elements and also add in save locations. What is that noise? Oh, there's some things over there. Okay. Don't need to fight them. Who do you think lives here? Robots? Looks like robots. I wanted to poke around in here. Okay. Mechanical sentry. Can I get them from here? Did it die? Combat drone. What is that? We're not getting through. Okay. Ch 
cheese. Why isn't he dying? Die. Okay, controlling Pavarti is really hard. I'm on it. Ah, I have to reload. Can't move. Armor's too strong. Hit him with something. Run, run. Everyone all right? Okay. Game is hard. Game is hard. these oh those are explosive barrels perhaps my strategy was ill-advised lots of adreno i will go back up to full health here you know that wasn't a very intelligent approach to the situation oh but we can't hack anyway so music box I was thinking they couldn't get out <laughs> turns out there's a hole in the wall okay not there vending machine discovered So we're looking to divert power, right? Vending machines. Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items... Allows you to sell items to vending machines. Oh, okay. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have a high enough reputation with the associated faction. Uh, okay. So we can buy things here. How much? We have 105 bits. Everything is so expensive. Adreno costs 50. It's not the best choice, it's Space's choice. Okay. At least there's quite a bit of Adreno replenishing here. We're back up to six. It looks like the Marauders did take out some of the robots, leaving just a few left behind. There's an enemy. Okay, go on quiet. Okay, they're right there. You know, if we don't have to fight them, maybe it's okay. Transition to geothermal power plant. Okay. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. I can't believe I didn't die. We've gone so close to death so many times. Plant worker. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. You have to be facing the right way. You can't jump through. Oh, that's not a solid. Okay. Use terminal. Space's choice. Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. A Space's Choice property. Era Terminal memory purged. Maintenance logs purged. Personnel files purged. Company notifications purged. Messages purged. Personal memos purged incomplete. Two files available. Access file one. 
I had to borrow your copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Radio's been sputtering and I need the reference. I've returned the copy to the repair bay. Chaos everywhere. Mechanicals gone haywire. Gunfire. Hearing some screams. Oh law, I think that was someone's leg. Would like to leave early for the day. Please deduct delinquency free from my pay. Thank you. Proud member of the Spacer's Choice family. Okay, so some stuff went wrong. No, no, no! Where are you going? Pravarti! She just ran right through. Jeez, it does so much damage. Pavarti, don't die. No! Is she dead already? Jeez. Jeez. This difficulty is insane. It makes companions completely useless. Spacer's Choice found a flaw in you. Flaw tutorial. <laughs> During your adventures, things may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. The choice is yours. Plasma weakness. Getting burned too many times has made you susceptible to plasma damage. Reward one perk point. Yeah, I don't want that. So, she's... Because of the difficulty, she's dead forever. Jeez. Like, how is that even... How is that even possible? Like, how do you have companions on this difficulty level? That is so... harsh. I did set her back down. But Pavarti has left the party. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think that's that's the worst thing about this difficulty level. That's just too that's too harsh. That's too harsh. They don't respawn. I think on hard they respawn. Also, this combat is kind of insane. This combat is kind of insane. And companions, like, is there, no game has gotten, that, like, she just completely collapsed. Companions become an escort mission, yeah, that, that makes the game not fun, because no one likes escort missions. Now, I don't even know if I can get through this by myself. Use terminal. Redirect power. A plant status first. Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant operating at 22% efficiency. Power is currently being distributed to Edgewater South Lunar Cannery Botanical Laboratory. Warning, structural damage detected. Please notify your designated supervisor. Redirect power. Comes now the power. Safety features detected. High likelihood of moderate to severe structural damage. Redirecting power is irreversible procedure. Please activate all three electric uh, electrical track switches. Manual override required. Okay. All three electrical track switches. Sure. 
these things? Hmm. She basically wore no armor and you're in the location where you should be like well later. This is this is quest two. This is quest two. <laughs> is it doing the Morrowind thing where quest two is basically super hard? Use terminal. Unlock door. Enter passcode. Yeah, he gave us the passcode. Personal logs. No, it's fine. Exit. Worker's outfit. That could actually be handy. This might be the end of us. This might be the end of this. This might be the end of our supernova playthrough. Because I've got one. <laughs> I've got one Adreno left. All right, let's let's try it. Let's try it. Like if I can't take out this single mechanical sh century, this is the end of our supernova playthrough. Let me just try to make the most of this. Worker, prepare to be penalized for your unauthorized actions. Jeez. Pressing the wrong key. Oh, hit the wrong key. Sorry about that. Right, we're out of Adreno. Game over. Game over. Do we even have an autosave? Autosave. Level 3. I think this difficulty level is too hard. Uh, for what I want to do with this game. Pavarti's alive! Settings, right? We're not playing on Supernova. Um, gameplay. Once we push it down, you can't push it back up, okay? Supernova can only be selected at the start of adventure, reduce difficulty, yeah, yeah, um, except, okay, good. We're on hard. So on hard, Pavarti won't die, right? Pavarti won't die? Like she goes down, but then she gets back up. Is that correct? Right? Is that correct? Yes, good. Okay. Also, things should be slightly easier. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. Let's find out. Are these even hostile? They are. Okay. Come on. Oh, it's so much less damage that I'm taking, by the way. Look at that. One shot got through. Also, we don't have survival mechanics. Oh, you get analysis. Look, we don't have anything else. We're finishing this quest, though. Yes, we are. Can't see what you're shooting. Rocket 
Jeez. Use your ability. See. Oh, this is so much more fun. This is so much more fun. Jeez. Hard difficulty is the way to go. Hard difficulty. Okay, plasma weakness. No, I don't want it. Reject. This is way better. Open. Okay. Redirect power. Plan status. Okay, we know this. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Ah, oh, look, she has a voice line because she's not dead. Also, our stats aren't reduced because we're sleepy. Okay, take that. Okay, that's outside. Oh, we could have come straight in from here. Maybe if we killed those on the side. Okay, okay. <laughs> the timeline has been corrected. Use terminal, unlock door, enter passcode, personal files. Do I need to read all this? No, I think it's fine. Okay, we've got some power to redirect. We can pick this? Oh, okay, picking is just a timed thing, I see. Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, or, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequences. Okay. Heavy ammo, light ammo, big cartridge. Okay, yeah, take all of that. Take all of that. This look over and it already opens mechanic is such an improvement. You don't have to open the container. Oh, so look at that. We're all at full health now. Okay. So we definitely shouldn't be here. This is a game where you should go level up and get things before continuing the main quest. Very, uh, very Morrowind. Okay, but we can now safely... Leave him to me. What is their weak point? Enemies have weak points, right? Where is Pavarti? Use your ability if you can. No. Oh, it's that blue point, isn't it? That's what I'm doing wrong. It's the blue point. Someone mentioned that, didn't they? It's the blue thing. Okay. There's some loot. Okay. Bit cartridge. That's fine. We're taking so much stuff. So there's still more enemies around here. So sneaking also gives us a view of where the enemies are. Okay. There's a couple here. We should be able to. So, the pistol is actually way better in this situation, but I'm not sure if close up the shotgun into the blue point will work. Here they come. Jeez. He turns it away. Leave him to me. Okay, okay, okay. Pistol. What is Jeez. Where is Pavarti? Yeah. Use that, please. Thank you. Or something else. Okay, so she's down. Oh, this is not dead? Okay. Ooh, 
Ooh, run. Stim. Okay. So she comes back to life, right? Jeez. It's still a lot of damage on hard. Reload. Can they open doors? No, no. Ha, come on! <laughs> okay, we're definitely not meant to be here yet, right? We're not meant to be here. Uh, enemies can open doors. Oh, we're here! Okay! It put us back here. We. It gives us more save points. I see. Okay. So we actually haven't lost any progress. Super, like, this is... Okay, I think we can figure this out. What is... Okay. Alright, I have to... Yeah. Okay, okay. You clicked continue rather than load? Ah... Okay. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. We just have to be a bit System. more careful. All oh, right, this. Oh, so no. Pavarti, I need to set you to aggressive. So you do auto attack. So it says saving. It says saving right there. Okay. So how do we? Take that out, please. We did it. Okay. Okay. And her ability regens pretty quick. Okay. Also, our healing. Does it heal her? Yes. So I can quick save now. Okay, quick saving is a thing. Where's the enemy? I'm ready for this. Processing data. Oh, she runs in. Okay. Why am I trying to shoot its head? That's not its weak point. Pressing C. Do that, please. Reload, reload. Got it, okay. So it's just one, right? It's just one. You can try spacebar plus two. Oh, we have a dash. Tactics. Okay, this is definitely way harder than our current level. But that's what we have to do there. Okay. 
Adreno, thank you. Okay, hard difficulty is pretty nice. It's tough, but not too tough. Riot control armor. Can't hack that. Mag 2 power. You've gotten a weapon modification. Install mods at the workbench. Okay, okay. Joint actuator. Examine. Hastily written note. Borrowed a copy of Young Space's Guide. I think it's volume 3. Okay. Use terminal. Access repair log. Okay. Things I'm not going to read right now. Okay. I'm not sure if there's any more enemies here. I assume we have to do three of those, right? What are we currently doing? Diverting power. So, it doesn't say exactly what we're supposed to do. Skills too low. That's more enemies. Four? Also, is this condition just better? Assault rifle. Oh. That is definitely... Does this count as a... It is a long gun. It says right there. The shotgun does count as a long gun. Okay, wait, hold on. I want this here. I want that there. Okay. Okay. We have a rifle. Doesn't have a lot of bullets, but we got the power of quick save now. Bard. Where are we supposed to go then? Down there? Okay, okay. No, no, no. Just leave me alone. A human. A human. Higgins. Can I change my armor? Do I have anything better? For... Armor for worker's outfit. Advanced defensive helmet. Where did I get this? Okay. Elite troop armor. When I get these things. <laughs> I've been wearing the, the weak armor this whole time. Dodge plus 5, stealth skills minus 5. Armor type heavy, armor type heavy. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Go away, Phantom. Okay, this guy's seeing things. Where are we going? I assume we're, we're supposed to be here, right? You're not real. You're not real. Hello, Higgins? You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. Sneak. I wasn't trying to startle you. Um, calm down. I'm not trying to hurt you. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. Uh, you're not imagining me. Of course. Do excuse me. I experience brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Totally normal. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. <laughs> um... What is it you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Okay, um... 
What happened to this place? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. You've been down here the whole time. How did you not starve? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Okay, so that's disgusting. Well, yes, for the uninitiated <laughs> palate. A true gourmand appreciates the Sprat's complex melange of flavors. Braised, boiled, charred, skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. Okay, you said you were an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. If you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Persuade, intimidate. I can deal with mechanicals, I made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Ah. Oh. Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. We are an engineer too. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. I'll just excuse myself. Got what we need. Okay, so he just sleeps right here. Guide to Mechanical Engineering Volume 3. I can just take this. Model spaceship. Alright, I'm gonna take all your stuff. You don't seem to mind. Okay, so... That computer earlier, I think, that was overlooking all of the... All of the uh, mechanicals. I think we might not have to kill any more of them, because they'll kill themselves. You need his passcode? Yeah, he gave us a passcode. It is here, right? Yeah, up this way. And it's this. Modify behavior. Select new mode. What mechanicals in this facility have been mandated to remain in guard mode. Any attempt to alter the setting is punishable by company law. Your infraction has been noted. Okay, select new target. Define intruders. Define intruders as spacer's choice auto mechanicals. Return to route. Exit. And we watch the show. Oh, so actually, like, they, they just won't shoot at us at all now, right? I see how sneak would be a good skill to have. The door's still barred, though. How do we get... There was another door. Wasn't there? Was it down one? This door. F5. Thank you. My machine. We're liable to get scalded. Now switching to target So expected. We should be fine now. Shut off steam release valves. We got engineering skills. Riot control helmet. Okay. Workbench discovered. We can't lockpick that. System up. Sweeping Here they come. Area. Wait. Don't 
don't mess with us. They still attack us? Okay. They at least attack each other as well. There's the second one. Very good. Oh, okay. I think I'm learning. I think that's what this is. I think this is what learning feels like. Right? Where's the final switch? These? Was this the barred door? It was the barred door. Okay. Shortcuts. Uh, now where are we going? That was it. Three. Okay. So then... If I'm not mistaken, it's this way? This is where we came... Oh no, okay. I know where we are. It's... No, it is back this way. Guys, we did it. This AR sounds moist. It's it's a pretty good gun. I, I like this gun. It's way better. Once we do this, there's no going back. Okay. F5. Hey, mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I think I do. I think I do. I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion, Pavarti, now that you're not dead. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. Mm. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough salt tuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. An actual choice in a video game? What is this, an RPG? Reed tells me Edgewater's going to die without workers and power. That sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. The deserters are a community. I can't just destroy what they've built. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? I see your point. I think I'm ready to make a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Okay. A decision must be made. Redirect power. Are you sure you want to continue? Continue. Edgewater's going to die if people don't come back. Taking power away from the botanical laboratory 
seems like it's the good choice, right? But I, I love how they made it actually hard by putting the what would typically be assumed as bad choice, but also like reframing it as maybe a good choice. Whoever said double cross and both, I vote for that. <laughs> Option three. You know, the, the trailer of this game sort of implies that. You gotta pick a side. And then after the character shoots someone, they go, you, you know, you didn't have to shoot either one of them, right? Why not both no power? You know, because we shot the guy right at the start, they all, Space's Choice already kind of doesn't like us. Redirect power to the botanical laboratory. I think. I think is where we go. Right? Redirect power to Edgewater. Ah, oh, I don't... I don't think they're just, you know, peaceful hippies. Hold on, hold on. I, I can make a choice. I can make a choice. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Have all the facts. Emerald Vale geothermal plant operating at 22% efficiency. I think I redirect the power back to Edgewater. Because I think redirecting the power to the Botanical Laboratory will hurt more people. But then Edgewater is probably doomed anyway. I think Edgewater is doomed anyway. I think Edgewater's doomed. I'm gonna redirect power to the Botanical Laboratory. Additional structure damage detected. Permanent power failure detected in Edgewater. Blatant disregard for spaces choice property has been logged. Please report yourself to the designated supervisor. Plan status. Comes now the power. Edgewater Saltuna Cannery has been removed from Emerald Vale Power Grid. Okay. What are we supposed to be doing right now? Return to Reed. Reed must be furious. Deserter's reputation increased. We can fast travel, can't we? You cannot fast travel from this location. Okay. Uh, where's the way out? Oh, there's stuff here. This is the exit, right? Okay. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Reed must be furious. So we should be able to fast travel. No, we can't. No, we can't fast travel when near hostiles. Okay. Let's just get out of here. How about now? Fast travel to Edgewater. Okay, we're not on supernova difficulty anymore. We can fast travel. Yeah, I think hard difficulty is how you should play. Hard or normal. Okay, we're back here. Um, where is that? I'm gonna keep my gun out for this one. To Miss McDevil first. Perhaps I should talk to her first, right? Fast travel loads pretty fast, actually. You notice that? 
Okay. Let's let's tell her the good news first, and then we'll go tell Reed the bad news. Adelaide. You hear that? That low, pleasant hum of electricity? It whispers across the veil like the winds of change. You've done well. I would have paid my last five bits to see the look on Reed's face when the last lamp in town burnt out and the cannery fell to silence. What happens now? Time's come to look toward the future. We'll grow, I expect. A lot of workers out there with nowhere else to go. You don't sound too pleased. I don't look forward to turning folk away. Camp's gotta stay pure, though. Can't have corporate loyalists mixing with us, no matter how desperate they may be. <laughs> There's the true colors. I am curious. Why did you help us? You don't know who we are. You don't owe us a thing. The plant's crawling with mechanicals, so it stands to reason you risked your life. Before she was all, oh, everyone's welcome here, no judgment. Once she's got the power, in more ways than one, she's like, ooh, we gotta keep the camp pure. Yours is a better way of life. I don't like the idea of being Reed's lackey. Didn't do this for you, I'm trying to repair a ship. You know, honestly, I don't really know. I think I did it for this reason. You're not quite like anyone else I've met. You haven't had your consciousness programmed by the board. You're welcome among us if you're ever so inclined. If it's all the same, I'm not gonna hang around. <laughs> uh, too late to take it back? Yeah, the choice has been made. Now, I have a feeling we're going to have to do some shooting. But also, where is the generator I'm supposed to take? I put my whole life in that cannery. You must be very proud. <laughs> um, okay, so I assume the elevator's not working. Corporate trooper. Is this, is this a dungeon we have to get out of? There's still some... There's still some power. Okay. Where is Reed? Sealed. Where is Reed? Is Reed? Mr. Thompson is aware of your concerns and remains. Con Are we getting paid? Okay, that doesn't work. To the penthouse, Phyllis Granger. Okay, how do I get up? Discontinue. Because I see this office. How do I get up? <laughs> this is all in the cannery, right? My whole life in that cannery. You must be. Maybe you got answers. Oh, it's you. Reed told me I should be expecting you. Okay. He's inside. He's inside. Okay. It's just he's inside. So he's inside here. How do we get to him? Yeah, I think we got to turn on the waypoint. This is this is the kind of thing where. There. You want to know what gets my bile churning? 
Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? It's not personal. I need your power regulator. Pretty much. That power regulator is company property. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Intimidate. Call off your guards. I don't want them bleeding over my power regulator. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be. Ah. Uh. It doesn't feel like the right choice. It doesn't feel like the right choice. Zen says, Zack success. It doesn't... It doesn't feel like success. We can fast travel to our ship, right? Oh, come on. Can I fast travel from in here? Me, the choice would feel right. Yeah, I, I think I would feel the exact same if I did the opposite choice. Fast travel to landing site. And that's quest 2 pretty much done, right? Return to your ship. Quest 2 is done. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so <laughs> handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but... That don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. Those deserters left Edgewater behind. Nothing keeping you from doing the same. I have imagined it, but... Until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no, but can I come with you? I could tend to your engine, I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? <sighs> In some sense it wasn't right because stripping Edgewater of their power means a lot more people are going to suffer rather than letting a few hippies live without electricity. Yeah, but then there's the big picture where the corporations need to lose power, I think. I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin, it's yours. Sure. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. I like Pavati. Very likable character. Uh, we're in the ship. We just have to put the thing back on. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. What does she have against Edgewater? What can I do for you, Captain? I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I'll be back. Alright. 
we're gonna we're gonna finally finish the first main quest. <laughs> power regulator housing. Install power regulator. <laughs> Stepped on a tomato, as you guys have been saying. <laughs> What can I do for you, Captain? Ada, I've installed the power regulator. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Make it so. That's pretty epic. Against all odds. A communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Good, I've been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Uh... I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Oh, so I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me. Help us find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. All right. Slow down. You're asking me to get involved in with the black market. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Okay. Why do I need a nav key to land on a planet? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the... Uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. All right. Uh, what's stopping me from just leaving Halcyon altogether? Without a skip drive? Good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place, and we can start by reviving the hope. Fine. I'll go have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. You want to explain what a Holographic Shroud is? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The Shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First-generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. 
Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. You mentioned this thing has limitations. I think he's overselling it a bit. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. I'll put it to good use. Thanks. That's Excellent. good. That's good. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Got it. We're in space! Alright, finally, finally. I think officially that was just the first main mission, right? I think that was just mission one. I pressed the wrong key. Oh well. Anyway. That's going to be the end of this video, and uh, sure, this will be on YouTube as well. If you want to me to continue with this playthrough, you can let me know by voting with your eyes, watching this video, watching through it, and pressing the like button doesn't hurt. Let me know that you actually want to see more of this. I'm going to continue playing this in my own time either way, but uh, yeah, if you've got... The first Gamer Encounters video set starting the game and then this getting through the first main mission and off into space. I think that's a pretty good look for you guys here and hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot to this game. There's a lot to this game, but yeah. Anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, you can click the buttons on the screen right now to check out a far more content on the channel or check out the links down below for social medias. You can follow on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and join us on Discord or check out the Humble Bundle referral link, merch store and Patreon, which you would be very kind if you check them out. Thank you so much. But that's going to be the end for now. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.